We know that congressional hearings often deteriorate into partisan performances. But this particular week, we saw a disturbing attempt by a Republican senator to pass off a racist ideology as fact when the actual facts did not support his narrative. I'm talking about Republican Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana. He was confronted with the high firearms death rate in his home state during a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on gun violence after he asked the dean of Yale School of Public Health why Chicago, Illinois, quote, has become America's largest outdoor shooting range. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So just a reminder, if anyone questions what's going on in Chicago or if anyone is even remotely concerned about the gun violence that is currently happening in a place that already has some of the most restrictive gun measures in the entire country, that person is a racist. Caring or questioning anything about Chicago, anything about the crime its citizens are forced to endure, apparently makes you a racist. At least that's what we're led to believe by our friends over at MSDNC. So I've got a clip, and it's all about Senator John Kennedy, who is absolutely one of the only true common sense voices still left in the entirety of Congress. And MSNBC, they're going to portray him as some sort of racist for even thinking about Chicago. And really, honestly, this is just the same old tired misdirection to control a narrative that they know they know it's falling apart because when you look at these cities, when you look at almost any place that has been subjected to Democrat control, many of them for longer than anyone watching this video has even been alive, if you look closely, and not even real close, but if you look, just look at them just a little bit, you'll realize what's going on there. Every bit of Democrat narrative surrounding guns, every bit of their narrative surrounding crime, and even their race narrative, it all falls apart. And, you know, this is why they have to silence anyone who wants to talk about it. And, of course, the best way for the left to silence you is to call you some sort of ist or some sort of ism. In the year 2023, inconvenient facts equal racism. Even though you'll notice here that Senator Kennedy never talks about race. Why do you think that Chicago has become... America's largest outdoor shooting range. Do you think it's because of Chicago citizens uh, who have no criminal record, but, but who have a, a awfully a gun in their home for protection or perhaps for hunting? Or do you think it's because of a finite group of criminals who have rap sheets as long as King Kong's arm. So Mississippi, Louisiana, and Missouri actually have higher firearm death rates. Um, obviously, there's certain... What about Chicago? So I don't live in Chicago. It's not my primary area of research. You don't have an opinion on that? I think there's easy access to firearms compared with, combined with environmental conditions, uh, lack of great education. There have actually been studies showing that when you green vacant lots and repair abandoned buildings in urban neighborhoods, you see decreases in gunshots, in violence, as well as in stress and depression in the neighborhoods around them. Uh, no disrespect, Doc, but that... Sounds a lot like word salad to me. <laughs> I mean, come on. Just look at Mika's face, man. I, I honestly, I have no idea what this poor woman is about to say, but that's exactly what that was. That was a word salad. And you know what? The guy said no disrespect. I thought if you said no disrespect, you can basically pretend you're a Democrat and say anything you want. But anyway, before Mika jumps in, you know, this witness is already being a bit disingenuous, right? John Kennedy didn't bring up any state. He brought up one city. He wants to talk about a city and she wants to compare that to states. Well, states that I'm sure if you look at the gun violence stats, most of these states, which are obviously more populous than the city of Chicago, it wouldn't be too terribly surprising if they have more gun violence. And all this is, is just a way to hide the numbers. If you were to compare Illinois to any other state, for example, you know, it would probably make Illinois look halfway decent. But what liberals never, ever want to do 
is dig in any further than those superficial numbers. Because if you look at Illinois, the lion's share of their gun violence comes from just one city. And even more troubling than that, 90% of that city's gun violence comes from an area about five square blocks, which should horrify literally anyone who is paying any attention at all. But for some reason, that doesn't wake people up. That doesn't wake up the average liberal. And, you know, they're not even concerned, not even a little bit. In fact, the only emotion they feel when this topic comes up is fear. And they fear only for their carefully crafted but very, very fragile narrative. They know that if they're forced to have a conversation about what they've done to that town, it's never, ever going to fit. You want to talk about word salad. It's given racism, Mika. That was racist, elitist, so condescending. And ill-informed. Ill-informed and insulting. Let's talk about the numbers the doctor was referring to. Ah, I can't believe this man. It's so, it's repulsive actually what he just did, what we just showed you. According to the data from the CDC, nine of the 10 states with the highest gun death rates in 2021 voted for Trump in the last election. That includes the senator's home state of Louisiana, which comes in at number two. Yeah, so this is what they do. This is how they take advantage of emotional, underinformed liberals that have literally built their entire worldview, their entire understanding of their surroundings based on this nonsense that they see on networks just like this, you know, which is crazy. It's insane when you think about it, but it's so freaking common. And just so everybody's on the same page, the stats that she's sharing, they include every bit of gun related deaths. And a lot of people don't realize that in most places on that list, over 50% of those gun related deaths are self-inflicted. And actually, according to the CDC, it's 54%. But Tell me again how guns are the problem that we can solve and mental health doesn't even need to be addressed. You know, but this this is when it gets good, guys. Listen to the insanity that they think their audience is dumb enough to believe. You call your realtor because apparently you'd be safer in Chicago than wherever you're sitting as you watch this right now. Illinois ranked 26th. And when you compare city metrics, Chicago is still statistically safer than major cities in the South. Chicago had a firearm homicide rate of 23.3 deaths per 100,000 residents, according to the city's police department. For context, St. Louis, Missouri had the highest rate in the nation with 76.4 deaths per 100,000. <laughs> Dude, guys, just listen to this rambling freaking nonsense. And it's faux outrage. That is all fake you know she doesn't even know what to say she knows that she's completely and totally full of it she just told her audience that chicago is one of the safest cities in the united states i wonder how many people are gonna be shocked after visiting the place after hearing that probably not many considering her ratings but it wouldn't even be one of the safest cities in the third world and now she's pretending that she's gonna make john kennedy apologize to the american people for daring to bring up what's going on in chicago because of course that's racist. But here's the funny thing about that. All of the cities that she herself just listed, implying that they're worse than Chicago. Chicago actually has the lowest density of minorities on that entire list. So by her own math and by her own liberal logic, she's the real racist here. That is racist. And, you know, I, the interesting thing is when you really do, you know, make this a conversation about race, Everything they're saying completely falls apart. New Orleans had a death rate of 65.3 deaths. I don't know what you can add, but I'd love to hear it, Simone. I, I, I don't even know what to, I, 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 I don't ever think I can interview this Senator again without asking him about that and, and asking him to apologize to the American people for what he did in that question. Yeah. I'm, I'm very confused about the rap sheet because I don't know if he is insinuating because Chicago is a city that many people um, associate with being majority African-American, majority black, that 
the most that the majority of the people in the city have rap sheets, i.e. black people do crime. I just I really I, I, I can't believe this is happening on the floor of the United States Congress. The Senate, nonetheless, is supposed to be the greatest deliberative body in this country. But I, I think given the numbers that you just gave is really important because there is an epidemic of gun violence in this country. And this there is everyday gun violence that is happening. And it is happening in spaces and places all across the country. Not there are many people. And I, I think back to the mayor of Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky after the shooting that happened uh, in the bank where the governor of Kentucky, one of his uh, best friends, was mm -hmm. killed in that shooting. And the. <laughs> Hold on. Which is it, man? I mean, they just listed off a dozen cities with a higher gun violence per capita. And now they're using the fact that gun violence theoretically could happen anywhere and the anecdotal statement that it has basically happened everywhere. All that is, they want to trick their audience into thinking that a higher population density doesn't mean more gun violence, which is misleading, and it's just lazy. They, they don't even realize the fact that in their mission to make it look like red states are more dangerous, they listed cities in red states that actually have a higher minority population than Chicago, but John Kennedy is a racist. But he's not a racist because Chicago is actually black. He's a racist because, in their words, people associate Chicago with black criminals, I think was her exact words, but liberals talking about violence in towns with a high black population and framing it, as long as they frame it as a red state issue, that's not racist at all. <laughs> Dude, I will tell you this, liberal logic is getting so hard to follow. And I think it's by design. I think the average liberal, I think they sit at home, they watch this nonsense and they get so confused that by the time it's all over, all they remember is John Kennedy is a racist and Chicago is safe. Red states are bad. That's about it. Mayor stood at a press conference and he said, you know, I used to, I never imagined that something like this could happen here. And we should understand that it could happen everywhere. And I think his comments are really important because everywhere across the country, people are dealing with the epidemic of gun violence. And it's why the United States Congress should be doing something about it, especially the Senate. But this idea that crime and gun violence is relegated to areas that are majority black, majority urban areas is absolutely just not true. And the numbers and the facts and the data, it I matters. mean, he knows that, right, Jen? Well, I mean, first of all, the other statistic, I mean, I'm a parent, you're a parent, parent, is that this is the number one killer of children is <sighs> honestly man i cannot stand this woman and this lazy 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 narrative about the nra right and I'll, I'll get into that in a minute but first you know this misleading statistic about guns being the leading killer of children terrible topic but anytime they're citing this right they're citing one year and one year only the year 2020 guns surpassed car accidents and car accidents, if you can remember, were actually way, way, way down as a killer for everyone that year because liberals trapped us all in our homes. We weren't going anywhere. But another sad part, you know, of this stat is that a very, very high percentage of those child deaths were also self-inflicted, both be it on purpose or accidental. You know, lots and lots of people don't secure their weapons properly, which really is a heartbreaking stat. And you know, that is something that needs to be addressed. But anyway, on the NRA topic, just to put it all into perspective, you know, liberals frame it as if the NRA is handing out mountains of cash and each dollar spent is some sort of quest to endanger everyone with guns, right? John Kennedy has received $215,000 from the NRA his entire time in the Senate. So Jen Psaki is implying that for the amount that she makes in just one week, as her in her role as state propagandist, that John Kennedy is endangering the lives of children for her peanuts, basically. Just to put it in perspective, the most the NRA has ever spent in a year on political campaigns is two million. They don't even crack the top twenty. It's just a typical, prototypical liberal red herring. Drug dealers, drug dealers, literal drug dealers give politicians more than the NRA. Gun violence. Everyone you don't have to be a Republican, a Democrat, non-affiliated, don't vote. That should be somebody, something that is waking up people in horror every single day. The fact that it's not, you know why, and I hope when you talk to him and he comes on this show and you ask him this, how much is he getting from the NRA?
Mm. And how much are they contributing to him? Because that is often the reason why so many people are so afraid of speaking out and voting in a way that, by the way, the majority of the public wants them to vote, which is to put in place more um, gun violence protection measures in order to protect, by the way, our kids. So it shouldn't be a partisan thing. It's not for the American people. It is only a partisan thing in Washington, D.C. So, Senator, just for the record, you're dead wrong. And your insinuations, your tone, and your choice of words is simply repulsive, and it shows who you are. Doesn't trigger us here. We're not surprised. We've seen a lot of this. Uh, I will it, note, they say yeah. his accent is fake. I don't know. People should just look it up. Well, <laughs> Mika's going to find there out. There are a lot worse things than that going on with him. I got to tell you. That was, I, I, I'm trying to think of a better word than repulsive. I am repulsed by what I just saw. I'm sad for our country. Mm. I'm sad for the people that he represents. All right. Well, I, I, I subjected you guys to a lot of that. I should have ended this minutes ago. I feel really, really, really bad for people who subject themselves to these people daily. So just to recap, Chicago is safe, red states are bad, and anyone who would dare say anything other than that is doing it because they're a racist. Just to recap. Guys, that's my take. Let me know your take in the comments. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.